All right, join us now on Inside TBT. Last year's leading scorer who looks to do it again for Challenge ALS, Justin Denton. And Justin, welcome to the show. Oh, man, thank you for having me, man. It's a pleasure. It, the pleasure is all ours, Mr. Leading Scorer in the TBT. Uh, get used to that. We'll probably be referencing you as that for, for quite some time. Uh, it's the same thing we do with Marcus Keene. We make sure that everybody knows that he led the country in scoring when he was in college. Uh, do you have any interesting scoring stories or any crazy accolades from when you were in college or in high school? Um, in college, uh, my career high was 30, and it was actually came from uh, me having food poisoning. I didn't think I was going to be able to play that game. Uh, all I had was a banana and some, uh, some ibuprofen. And once I, I took that, I went in the game, I played, and I was, like, hitting everything. <laughs> so I'm like, maybe maybe my body was just fighting really hard to, you know, fight off whatever was going on. But, yeah, so that game, I was hitting everything. We ended up winning against the Arizona State. And I, I need to be more sick more often. They, they say that when you're sick, you play better because it, for, it forces you to focus more on the tasks at hand because you know you're not 100%. Not to get all yeah. – I mean, yeah, it worked. Period. It worked because, um, like I said, I had an amazing game. I shot the ball. Amazing. I think I only missed like three shots. <laughs> I, I was balling. So, it worked. Joey and I are going to walk by you before the games and, and accidentally cough on you so you get, you know. I mean, that's not funny in this day. Think you're yeah, I don't know. We got the new COVID going around, so that, that might not even work out. <laughs> true, true. I guess that's true. Justin, <laughs> last year you were the leading scorer, and you were the leading scorer for – Purdue TBT this year you're not with them can you talk a little bit about how you got hooked up with them last year and then how'd they lose you so last year we was Paul supposed to be on a different team um and we ended up not getting into getting in and uh one of my friends from uh Ebelon Drive one of the general managers who I've started off playing in the uh, TBT with he said one of his friends is looking for a player and uh, they would love a player like me uh, to join a team if I, you know, if I want to play with them, you can. And I was like, I just want to play. You know, I, I love the, the league, you know, it's, it's grown so much. Everybody's starting to play and you're starting to get more alumni game teams in it. So I like, I'll play with them. You know, it's new guys, you know, it's always good to, you know, meet new friends. So when I play with them, everything clicked. Every guy, everybody from uh, the coach to the manager to the players was cool. And, we, we clicked, and they brought in one of my other friends who I played in France with, uh, Ron Howard. Ron, and he was uh, – he helped. He helped a lot. He was goofy, you know, so, yeah. So, do you feel like you're a Boilermaker for life now or what? Yeah. I mean, they said I'm a Boilermaker for life. So, I, I take it. You know, I talked to him this year. You know, things didn't work out the way I wanted. I was supposed to take, play with Team Washington. Something happened where we just didn't uh, get – get in or something happened with the general manager. And uh, it was between, you know, them and Challenge ALS. And I was just like, you like you guys already got your guys. He said they would love to have me, but you know, the situation with all the 70% with um, COVID testing and everything, which I'm good now, but then I didn't know. So Challenge ALS, you know, accepted me with all open arms. Darren Collison have been hitting me up a lot this summer trying to get me to go there. And I was just like, man, it's perfect fit. Jerome Randall, who's another guy who's a, a big time scorer, uh, was just blowing me up. Like, man, it'd be good to play with you. We'd be dangerous in the backcourt. I was like, man, let's do it. It's for a good cause. Um, you know, and I always want to, you know, be a part of this TBT anywhere I can. So it's a packed regional in Wichita. We put you as the number three player in the region behind Jalen Barford, Team Arkansas, and your teammate, Jerome yeah. Randall. What do you think of that? Yeah. I mean, you're not going to talk no, I'm, trash I mean, on anywhere Randall. I can go, man, I appreciate y'all putting me that high, man. You know, I know some good players in this in this regional and all the other regionals, some great players. You know, I'm just happy to be a part of it. Uh, it's like when you keep saying uh, uh, leading score, it's going to be kind of tough. You know, if me and Randall and some other players on the same team, all of us can put the ball in the hole. I just think, you know, it's going to be hard to really double team or – Pick us up real quick because we got so much power. I kind of like that you're getting ahead of the fact that maybe you won't lead the TBT in scoring this year, but you might, That's fine. Further, That's fine. You might go further in the tournament. I like that you're getting ahead of the narrative. You're setting the narrative yourself that, you know, hey, it's still the same Justin Demony, whether I'm leading the TBT in scoring or not. Just 
just so happens that I have a maybe a little bit of a better team around me, maybe some more scorers around me, and I can just, you know, just help where I need to help. Right. And I think that's where I've grown as a player. You know, being a young guy is always thinking like, I got to be that guy, even with other guys. But now, you know, older, you know, I start to look at older guys and then be like Chris Paul, you know, he was dangerous in his young, in his young years. And now he's leading the team and doing what he can. I'm like, man, I'm just, I just want to win. There's no MVPs, man. It's a team. We win it as a team. So we're going to go in there and try to win as a team. Well, LeBron said a few years ago, he said, I could win the scoring title every year, but you know, that's not how you win. So it sounds like you're very similar, you know, <laughs> mindset to LeBron. So if, if that's the case, could be a championship coming your way this summer. But before you get to the championship, you got We Are D3 in round one, who's a team made up of former D3 guys. I haven't, to be honest, I haven't really looked into a lot of the teams. Uh, I've just been focusing on me, you know, just trying to stay healthy and consistent and uh, just trying to be sharp, you know. So whenever I get out there for training camp, you know, I just want to, you know, wherever y'all want to put me, that's where I want to be comfortable in. I just want to win. You know what I mean, I think it's going to be fun. I think everybody else who hasn't been in this in this tournament should, you know, grasp it and just have fun with it. You know what I mean? Because it's it's like a, a, a what a NCAA's for guys that's not in college anymore and guys who've never experienced it get a chance to experience it now. So I'm just grasping the moment. So you're going to be playing with some interesting players, including yeah. uh, YouTube sensation street baller legend Friga. Are you excited to play with him? Are you worried about getting embarrassed in practice by him? <laughs> no, I'm not worried about it. I mean, I mean, I, I respect all those guys, you know, in, uh, in the street ball. Uh, but on the court, you know, I mean, I, I take pride in what I do. I'm sure he take pride in what he do, but I don't think it'll be embarrassing. It's going to be straightforward trying to build chemistry as a team. I mean, maybe even one-on-ones afterwards, you know, never know. But I think it's just going to be focused on, you know, trying to be at that, that team chemistry that, teams need going into it you know being a vet I think that um I think God shouldn't overthink it man just go in there and just be you and um and don't be overly uh un unselfish I know some guys be in there they have a layup and they try to throw it to somebody no play your game you know what I mean and then you don't have to call out Ben Simmons like that man gee <laughs> no I mean I ain't mean to call him like that but there's other guys you know you be on teams and people be too unselfish you know so me I'm just like He's going to go with the flow, man. When the Elam ending hit, that's when the real guys, as you can see, when we really can get a bucket then. You know what I mean? That's when the real dogs come out. Have you had a chance to watch any of Friga's videos just for fun? Even if he yeah, wasn't. I watched a few of them. I watched, you know what I mean? Yes, this is how you're joining a new team. I mean, yeah. When I go overseas or where I play over here, you look up guys you never, you know, really had, you know, heard of, and you be like, oh, okay. Okay, I see how this can work. I see where, you know, I look up everybody. I have to, I have to see. But you didn't look up us before. Huh? But you didn't look up us before. No, so look, when y'all hit me up, I was like, okay. And then I seen you on Twitter. I was like, oh, okay. I ain't really, like I said, I'm not, I have lately haven't been on anything because I've just been chilling, man, trying to stay away from the social media. I ain't really been posting nothing. I'm just trying to stay away from social media, man, because social media can sometimes I can be addicting. You watch all these TikTok videos, people dancing and all this. It's like, <laughs> <sighs> I can get it. I can get overwhelmed. So I kind of just leave it alone. I try to, you know, clear my head, man. And just like I said, work on my game, what I need to work on. If, if you would have looked us up, you would have known that my career high was six points in college, and I was perfectly 100% healthy, no food poisoning. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> was them two three-pointers, or was them uh... – What do you think? Just looking at me, what do you think? <laughs> I'm thinking you got a couple three. You, should, yeah. you, you yeah. ain't going fast that three-point line. two and <laughs> one poster dunks, and he hit the free throws on both. Oh, really? Oh, no, hey, not, well, not well, quite. Well, the rim was there. It was, what, 9 feet, 8 feet? <laughs> <laughs> Justin, you mentioned the uh, the Elam ending. You know, you, you're trying to act like an unselfish player, but I got a feeling you want to hit the Elam ending shot as often as you Yes, can. last year, I tried to shoot my one footer at the end. <laughs> I missed it, and Hawes tipped it in. But, yeah, of course. I mean, That's but, an assist. That's an assist. Yeah, but they won't count. You know, they yeah. it's a lot of assists they don't count. Like, you can – you have a guy in the corner, some guy cut, and the guy in the corner be just that much open. That's the assist for that guy who cut. You know, they don't, they don't give that to them guys. You know? What do you think about adding a new stat? Not a new stat, but, like, if you pass to someone, like, for a layup, they get hacked. It was a wide-open layup. They get hacked from behind, and they make both free throws. Like, you should get an assist for that. 
Assists, baby. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I gave them that bucket. That's an assist. But you know they're not gonna do it. They just stuck on the replays and everything now. So <laughs> yeah, I was just replaying to see who should have given the assist and then not give it give an assist. Right. No, nah, you know overseas that um in some places, when I was in China, you pass somebody on the break, if they dribble more than one time, it's not assist no more. Really? Crazy. Oh man, take away all your assists. Somebody can be on the break. You throw it up to them. One, two, lay up, since gone. That decentivizes, like that decentivizes passing. Yes. I'm leading him to a bucket. That's my assist. No, they don't. And it's what so hard. What was your career high in China? What was your career high in China? 49. <laughs> oh, no 50 burger. Man, no, nah, no 50 burger, you man. Free throw at the end. I, every time I get a career high, it'll always be when I'm not paying attention. I just be out there. I zone out and just play. If I'm looking at the score, like, oh, I got to get this. I don't get it. Yeah, but no it's one's crazy. telling you, yo, you need three more points for 50. No. And the crazy thing is when I went to last, I went to Iran, I was one point shy of breaking the playoff record. And I had 42, I needed 43. Nobody said anything. Why? Why not? Well, okay. well, a record, that's like, you know, you don't want to jinx it. No, it's like, a, no, it's no. like if you're throwing a no-hitter, you don't say, whoa, yo, bro, you got a no-hitter right now. Like, yeah, but I mean, I still was in the game for four or five more minutes. I could have still got it, you know. But <laughs> yeah, that's tough. Yeah, man. It's like I mean, like if you have if you're like one rebound away from a triple double, like someone's got to tell you. Like, yes, say something. Yeah, but they don't. So I mean, I get it. Everybody was zoned in to winning, uh, but me, I'm like, I'm in the record books for a long time. Did somebody break that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, for real. Especially in Iran. Come on, who's yeah. scoring 43 in Iran? No one. Yeah, I know. It was my second game too. First game was bad because I was straight off the plane. I hate when they try to make you play straight off the plane. It's not good for your body. You love you love being the leading scorer after two games. We need to see the lar- we need to see the larger body of work this summer. Yeah, I know, man. I mean, I'm getting a little older now, so it's like I might take on a Ray Allen role and be a shooter. <laughs> but, I, but I don't know if that's in me though. I can't I can't do it. I just listen to my body. My body says it's time to quit. I quit, but until then, I'm, I'm gonna still be me. I'm not going to not be me. If somebody don't like me, it's okay. I've been doing it for a while. It's only take one person to like you, so. So, before we let you go, I know Joey's going to ask you something that we always do with everyone, but I got to ask. Challenge ALS, obviously incredible organization, incredible cause. How how big of a part did that play in you deciding which team you were going to play for this summer? Um, It played a big part. Uh, Cause they, like there's a few teams, Team Washington, Syracuse, and some other teams, and it came down to Purdue and them again. And you know, I started looking at the cause and, and what they fighting for and trying to bring awareness to the to, to the disease. And I started researching it. So I'm like, this can be good. You know, I got a guy that uh, that's going to be on the back of my jersey. I got I got to look up his name again, but he's going to be on the back of my jersey. And that's I think that's amazing that everybody is representing somebody who has ALS. So. Uh, that, it played a big part. Also, the big part was, you know, playing with Deshaun Stevenson and Bobby Bobby Jones and Dominique Jones, guys I played with in the past. That's, you know, that's some chemistry there. You know what I mean? You don't normally get that a lot. Uh, you always, always be joining new teams. And, and then a chance to play with Jerome Randall, I think uh, it will bring back the Washington days when me and Isaiah played against with each other. It was one of the best backcourts in, in the nation. So, uh, it, it's – Played a big part, but I'm excited and I'm, I'm curious to know how things are going to go in training camp. Yeah, did you no do the, well, I was just going to say, did you do the ice bucket challenge yet? Yeah, I did. It. I do no ice bucket. It was just water. Why uh, did you nominate? Huh? Why he did you doesn't not? know us. Oh, they, don't, they, don't nom- they don't nomination no more. They don't do the nomination no more. They're just like, well, they do, but they were like, you sent me a video. Oh, well, here we go. Then, here we go. Yeah, so that, man, that's exactly good. what they, they had to do. You look good there, man. You're looking big. <laughs> yeah, the crazy thing is, I'm I'm skinny now. Though. I'm like 196. At my no, best, you did, it, you did it in the shower. That's such a cop out. That is. A but cop everybody, out. that's what the examples that I got was in the shower. Yeah. Some guys was in the shower. <laughs> like, well, that's it. So I'm Wait, like, yes. Hold on. How, why isn't Isaiah playing in the TBT? I don't know. Uh, he was going to be assistant coach for the Washington team. All right, well, maybe next year he'll be a player for the Washington team, but we can talk about that at another time because the focus is on ALS, not on Team Washington. The last question that we have for you, and you would know this because you've watched all the episodes already, but we asked the same question 
to end every interview, and it's pretty simple. We're just going to turn the tables on you, let you interview us, and we'll give you the floor to ask us any questions that you've been dying to ask us, whether it's about TBT, hoops at all, anything. Go ahead. Floor is yours. Huh. Uh, this is weird. I ain't never had something like this. <laughs> uh, who's your top four teams going into this TBT? Like, who's your in, – in each region? You all need one from each region. Boop, boop, your top four. All right. You, we'll, we'll do this together, Andrew. I'll take Columbus. I'm okay, a Buck guy. Go four, no, you go four. He got his four. Okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. Yeah. Um, all right. Let me just pull this up to make sure I don't miss anyone. Uh, Columbus Regional, that's easy. Ohio State. Um, or Carmen's crew. I'm a Buckeye. Those are my guys. That's easy. They're the one seed also. I also think they probably have the toughest road, but I got to take them. Um, let's see. In – that's Columbus. In West Virginia – uh sideline cancer i hate going chalk they're great in illinois i'll take house of pain and eh, no that's too easy i'll take Bayheim's army and then <laughs> that's what i was gonna take and then in wichita i mean i you want me to take you guys but i'll be honest go ahead take whoever you want to take okay i'll i'll take uh oh man it's between you guys and Everline Drive, and it's hard to go against Everline Drive. That roster is freaking nuts. So yeah. Everline. I'll take them for now, but I really I would love to see you guys play each other. That's a tough I don't that's a tough ah, that's so like I picked three one seats, bro. Like what am I doing? That's so easy, but whatever. Yeah, it happens, you know. That's yeah. One seeds usually get upset. I know, that's what I'm saying. Like I, there's no way that I'm right, you know? Never this is know. what I'm going to say. This is what I'm going to say. I, I agree with Joey on the right side with uh, Columbus and West Virginia. Got to go with Carmen's crew and sideline cancer. Even though, Joey, we've talked about it. Sideline cancer, they would have benefited from adding another, you know, weapon in the free agency period. Yeah, yeah. Which for them. But then in Wichita, if I was, like, given my, like, shock the world take, I'm, Joey knows I'm a big fan of Team Arkansas. I think they got a so, lot of good pieces. But I, I – I got to go Eberline Drive. I want to see a uh, Eberline Drive Challenge ALS matchup. It wouldn't be until Dayton, but it'd be very cool. And then, man, I was gonna go. Uh, I was gonna go Bayheim's Army also, but that's not fun. So I'll take your first one. I'll take House of Pain. But you can't write off the Golden Eagles. And Travis Diener is coming back. So <laughs> yeah, he's gonna play a huge role. They got, they got like fifteen players, right? Yeah. They do. Hey, Justin, I got a trivia question for you. Okay, let's see if I can get it. How many Elam Enders does Jerome Randall have in his career in TBT? Three. I think it's four. Oh, okay. You don't know the three. answer? You said I think? I thought it was three. I mean, no, I you know. said I think. No, I just, I just looked, and it was four. But now that he said three, I'm worried that it might be three. <laughs> he had a layup. He had a jumper. Two jumpers, I thought. Or two layups and a jumper. Now I'm looking. <laughs> Yeah, we just, they just posted the all-time, like, Elam Enders or whatever. I got one more question for you. Okay. Can you help us get IT on the show? IT sometimes can be tricky, though. Yeah, I mean, I got to hit him up on Snap. He don't, on his text, he don't really respond to text. He got too many messages probably coming through. He's a trick. I got to say something goofy or something for him to respond. Tell him you don't think he could hit an Elam Ender. We, we, just, we need to have you two on our, on our other show that's College Hoops. We need to have you two on that show. That's what we need to do. Yeah, it'd be dope. Oh, I wouldn't mind talking about Well, Jerome Randall, four. Four? Okay. I was close. Three. I thought it was three. All right. Any other questions for us? Um, yeah. Who um who y'all got winning the uh, the finals? NBA. Ooh. Ooh. Um, I got Bucks and Phoenix in the finals, but I, I think that whoever was gonna win the Bucks and the Brooklyn was gonna win it all. So I think they they just stronger. I think Bucks. And if they win, Milliton really needs to be MVP. He's the X Factor. He's oh, 100%. The He's the best player. Yes, yes. Most skilled player on their team. They do everything. Most, so. most important, most valuable, and probably best all around. But not the best. You know? Right. They, you know they're going to give it to Giannis. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, Giannis. Oh, oh. I don't get why Giannis, when he backs up, nobody just crowd him. Why they let him come running at you? Crowd him. So he can't run, run at you. 
I don't get any I don't get anything with I don't get anything with him period but I think I if the if the if the Suns can win here soon and and end that series and they get like a week of rest before the Bucks yes. or whoever they play that's a huge advantage Bet they they are they I think they kind of similar on defense to me they got good defensive presence on both ends what the Suns do that the Brooklyn did not do was play their bench the Suns play their bench yeah Brooklyn should have played their bench a little more to get you know give them a little rest maybe two minutes in the in the second a little in the third and then fourth okay but I think that Steve Nash should have really played his bench it's pretty interesting that. Uh... Some like young superstar is going to win their first championship this year. Yeah, there's a new new champion. It's going to for sure a new champion. But, like the Clippers aren't going to win, but like no. the, the other three teams. But you never know, man. Paul George right now, he's he's hot. So if, if Paul George continue this, well, he's hot for one game because he was cold for two in a row. So he's now he's, he's very, been. Like, I would. I want Luke out that zone. They can't. I would love zone. to see him win so that NBA Twitter just shuts up. Like that would be nice. That's what I'm going to get, man. They get on them for losing. It's, it's just like overseas, man. Guys they call themselves Playoff P. That's tough. Man, yes. You can't call yourself Playoff P and then stick no, it up. No, I wouldn't give myself a nickname either. Yeah. No. Sure. I think I think the cool headline is that Chris Paul could be playing against the Bucks, which there were rumors that he wanted to go to the Bucks. Kind of reminds me of a potential, you know, Men of Mackey Challenge ALS championship where, you know, you'd be playing against your old guys. Yeah, I know, right? right? Yeah, so yeah. I'm, I'm, I, I, oh, I love, I love Men and Maggie, though. Like I said, it's, you know, the, and the crazy thing is I, I've connected with a few people who, like, alumni and everything, so they, they pretty cool. <laughs> like, the crazy thing, I was getting recruited to go there also. I just never went because – Smart. West Long, that's the worst college town in the world. Yeah, it just wasn't a good fit for me. And, and Washington, their pitch was ridiculous, and I'm, I, I, I committed right after. Yeah, Purdue was like, that's too much defense. You want to score the ball. And Washington said, we'll play five out, go ahead, and you can wear Jordans. Kind of. Kind of. It's got to. <laughs> but to bring yeah, up Purdue was too slow, though. I, my, my, my game is just up and down, and I can just... You're not built for Big Ten basketball. You're not about. built to stay in the Midwest. I had to get away from the Midwest. I had to get out. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I just looked up your uh, Wikipedia. You look, you look like you mean business in your in your Wikipedia uh, image. Let me take a picture. Oh yeah, was is that the image? Uh, did they have a red shirt on it? Yeah, Joey, you got to. Oh, that was my USA shirt. <laughs> now it's this. I was not like that. You are not messing around in that one. Oh, <laughs> on, I was mad that day. I was really mad that day. I can't. Yeah, yeah, I was really mad that day, bro. That was in uh, that was in Turkey, Galatasaray. They're, like, they're like, "Hey, Justin, smile." And you're like, "No," because they the crazy thing is, you would think that in um, media day we get to do what kind of polls we want. They got us doing all the polls that other teams are doing. I'm like, bro, we don't need to be like that. We trying to be like ourselves. I'm a professional athlete. You trying to tell me the polls like that? No, that's too basic. I don't, I don't, I don't like it. They were just trying to tell us what to do. I was just like, "Do you, you know, have all your jerseys, bro? I got all of them." Every one, every team I've been to, I got. And last question: Did you know that we're also from Illinois? What part? North North suburbs. Ah, oh, y'all way up north. Uh, the mean, north. the mean. I'm from the mean streets of Highland Park. Yeah, y'all way up north. I'm, I'm I'm south, south, south. Yeah, no, we're closer to Wisconsin than we are to to you. <laughs> yeah, me, I'm an hour and forty minutes away from St. Louis. All right, Justin Dentman, thanks for coming on. Thanks for promising us that you'll average 35 a game in TBT this summer. Uh, looking for hey, hey, whatever. I just thought of one last good. question. I just thought of one last question. This is the last one, I promise. <laughs> okay. So, we're not going to be in Wichita, but we will be in Dayton. We ask everyone this. Do you feel a lot of pressure knowing that you'll get to hang out with us if you get to Dayton, but if not, you won't get to hang with us? No, I mean, eventually, I think if I don't get the date, I'm going to see you guys eventually. So, <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. As long as we get, as long as we get us a, you know, a, a nice little flick, you know. Yeah, we all right. We all right. <laughs> It'd be good. Not staged, though. Not like the other nah, two. No, nah, it got it to be completely random. Well, yeah. They'll make the best pitchers. All right, man. Thank you. This was a blast. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate you having me on. Yeah, absolutely. Good luck. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks, man. Y'all have a good one.